battles of Nick Kozolonis for the professional record. 13 wins, two losses. Connor's ability to visualize something and make it happen is, is right up there with any of the top world champions I've ever met. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 146 pounds. And, and a lot of people mistake what Connor says for talking smack. Connor says, Understand me here when I'm telling you, I'm not, I'm not talking smack. I respect everybody who steps into the cage, but I'm going to tell you exactly what I'm going to do and exactly the way it's going to happen. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious. Every walk of life, people who succeed have the mentality that Conor McGregor has. Your true passion should feel like breeding. It's that natural. Guess who said it? Oprah. So, um, you know, I follow you on Twitter. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you some of my favorite. <laughs> I, I like to have fun with Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you do. It amuses me. You said I decided I'm going. I'm going to toy with him. Yeah. Like, what, what did that mean? So that was before the Poirier fight in Vegas. Mm -hmm. See, what was going on around that time was I could sense hatred from him. I could sense emotion. So I decided there and then that I was going to toy with him. I was going to play with him. I was going to speak to him in the fight, and and I did. So it seems like you you know you think deep, and you know another tweet I saw was I visualized my imagination so clearly and so consistently that it has manifested itself into my reality. Mm -hmm. So what did that mean? The, my thoughts that I've been having throughout the years, everything that I've been seeing up here, all of these things seem to be making their way into my reality. They're going from one area of my brain into, into another. I'm able to just see things in my head so consistently, like I said, that they manifest into reality. So, I mean, are you familiar with like guys like Michael Jordan and, and their, you know, their level of talk you know, on the court? And off the court. It's hard to be humble when you are the best. You know, you, you, it, it is simple as that. If you have supreme confidence in your ability, if you are out walking, if you are surrounded by your competition and you, you are looking around and you are better than, the, than these people and you are out walking these people and you are out moving these people, it's hard not to uh, let, let your confidence take over. It just builds and builds and builds. And I'm sure that was the same with Michael Jordan and any top level athlete. There's always the same. There's always that hint of arrogance there, that hint of cockiness. It, you must be insane to your game, you know, and I'm sure that is what he was, and that is what I am as well. So if I was to see you walking down the street, I wouldn't say this guy's a fighter. I'd say this guy's like a model or, you know, stylish. Like, where, where did that come from, the whole style thing? See, there's two things that are really good for me. You know, when you go training and exercise and you get that good endorphins throughout your body. You feel like a new man when you move. Movement is medication. It is the best form of medication there is. So every time I exercise, I always feel good. And but then there's another feeling. When you put on those fresh, fresh new clothes, when you rip a tag off and there's that new clothes smell. I love that new clothes smell. <laughs> so now, so what I always do is get my good workout in and then have some nice fresh clothes after. So I get like a double whammy effect. This is motivation for me to keep pushing, to keep getting these big fights, to keep doing what I, I say I'm gonna do. I said it and I done it. Going from that imagination, that visualization and into reality, it's a, it's a beautiful thing.